Hello everyone, what's up? This is Oheb Tahir from ZMeds and today let's discuss Salbutamol that is also known as Albutrol and this drug is going to act on the respiratory system means on the lungs or the bronchioles so it is highly selective beta 2 agonist okay means it is totally going to act on beta 2 receptor that is present in the lungs that is present on the bronchioles or the bronchi and it's not going to act on other beta 1 beta 3 receptors there are this drug is going to act on beta 1 and beta 3 in only one case when there is overdose of this agonist so selectivity can be enhanced if we introduce the drug through inhalation because uh, we will we will prevent the drug from going into the blood circulation and everybody knows that when drug goes into the blood circulation then drug has to rotate throughout the body and can produce side effects so next we have our macrodynamics means uh, the mode of action obviously i have told you that it will act on the beta 2 receptor and it will cause the spasm to go away and will cause a relaxation of the bronchioles known as the bronchodilation next we have the therapeutic uses of this drug now if uh, someone is having asthma attack then he or she can use this drug means during emergency condition you can go for the albutrol or salbutamol but if you are expecting uh, lifetime prevention from asthma then you are wrong you can't use the drug before asthma attack okay if you are suffering from asthma attack then you can go for the albutrol or sal salbutamol so no prophylactic use side effects profile is a bit lengthy but it doesn't mean that it's going to happen to everyone it will happen to those individuals who are taking high doses of albutrol or salbutamol muscle tremors palpitation these two are the beta 1 and uh, beta 3 effects restlessness it's and nervousness these are the two actions on the brain or the central nervous system then throat irritation obviously when you are going to inhale something it will go into and it will pass through your throat and when it will pass through your throat so it means there will be irritation on the throat and cough may be introduced then ankle edema this is also uh, a peripheral effect due to the a rare non-selectivity of this agonist then hypokalemia as well <clears throat> now pharmacokinetics most of the time salbutamol and albut or albutrol are taken with pressurized meter do metered dose inhalers okay and why it is known as meter dose one puff is equal to specific amount of drug to be introduced in our body in our lungs or in our respiratory system so that's why it is known as pressurized metered dose inhalers and it enhances the selectivity towards the beta receptors now the onset of action means action starts within two minutes so that's why it is good to be used in the emergency conditions duration of action is two to four minutes but its duration can be increased if we take the drug orally but when we take the drug orally selectivity will be compromised and obviously onset of action will also be compromised and will delay the onset of action so if we take salbutamol or albutrol orally then it's uh, going to give 50 percent concentration of the actual amount of the drug while in case of inhalation there will be no wastage of the drug and whole of the drug will go in our lungs will go and bind to the beta 2 receptors so in case of oral salbutamol there is more 
duration of action that is four to six hours but i will not prefer it so that was all about salbutamol or albutrol and we and you can take uh, salbutamol in the form of salbo it's also uh, found in the uh, combination with the inhaled corticosteroids such as a uh, fluticasone budesonoid and we may discuss these things in the later on videos and uh, also if you want to know about uh, um, uh, uh, about uh, these drugs inhaled corticosteroids or other short acting or long acting beta 2 adrenergic agonists then i will give the links of those videos in the description box below so you have to follow those links until next time it's a hip tire from zmers signing out